Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be looking at the Fellwinter's Lie. Just came out yesterday, and I ended up playing a few matches with it, testing it out as well. And I got to say, you don't got to grind a shotgun anymore. This is, or at least in the secondary slot. This is pretty much going to replace your mind benders, your insert OP weapon here. It's, it's really good. I man let me tell you this shit is just it was a lot of fun uh i enjoyed my time with it as you guys can see i got 40 kills with it for for me that's actually pretty low but i have not been playing destiny as much as i should be mostly because i've been doing other stuff like you guys probably know i've been doing uh doom eternal resident evil 3 all that stuff i would really appreciate it if you guys check that out but Let's check out Fell Winters Live. We're obviously going to do the whole spiel. We're going to I'm going to show you how to get the gun and then once the that's over, we're going to review the weapon itself. So, I actually don't remember off the top of my head how you get the quest. If I remember correctly, yours you just get it like immediately. It's already on your inventory. You're supposed to go to not Ada. That was weird. Uh, you're supposed to go to what's her face, the chick from Mars, Anna. You're supposed to go to Anna. Anna's gonna be like, oh, uh, you have to go to Vostok, I think it is, and find three things. I'll hopefully have the video of where the three things are, so that you guys don't have to search. So I will be right back. Once you get all the, I think, satellite pieces, if I remember correctly, once you get those, uh, go back to Anna. Anna's going to tell you that you need shotgun kills, I think. So just, was it Anna? Yeah, whatever, man. It's, uh, you have the quest, you know. So once you get the next quest, it's going to be shotgun kills. A thousand kills in PvE or a hundred kills in PvP. You could do it in PvP by all means. I mean, like right now would be the worst way to do it considering everyone and their mom is using fell winters so if you guys want some easy choices for pve you have the leviathan raid the first area that one's the where i did it mostly because i put on a video and then just turned my brain off highly encourage you guys to do the leviathan one if you guys want to do the shiro chi that's a good one too you just have to uh input the last wish uh code for it that's why i didn't go to that one or you can go do the Whisper mission. That is a good one as well. The only reason I didn't do it is because it was timed. Or it is timed. And I just kind of wanted just to stay in one place the whole time. And just kill the whole thing. So that's pretty much it. That was that was it. That's all we had to like had to do. And then the mission's going to come up. The mission's really simple. It's literally just a walking simulator. So just walk. And then you'll get the gun eventually. And that's really it. Like... You guys probably already know, oh, I didn't post that video, never mind. I was gonna, but I just decided not to. So, before I start reviewing the weapon, I'm gonna give you my opinion about this quest. This quest is kind of disappointing. I would, would have loved to see Felwinter's Light come back as an Iron Banner reward. If you guys don't know, last week was Iron Banner. Would have been amazing if we could have gotten it through Iron Banner. I do understand why Bungie didn't want to do that, mostly because a lot of people would have been pissed and a lot of people probably wouldn't have gotten it but at that point this is a pvp weapon we should be able to just get it from pvp so i like i said should have got it in pvp would have been amazing would have been even cooler if once you get the gun you get another quest to unlock the, the ornament for it but that's not the world where we live in we live in a world where quests get bugged so hard that you can't even open a fucking door but hey man we got the gun. So, how is the gun, Tony? Is it great? Is that a godly tier weapon? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a good weapon. It's so consistent. And consistency on a shotgun is probably what you want most. So before I start talking about the weapon itself, let's look at the perks that it can drop with. Or just in general, because it's a fixed roll. So full chalk, accurized rounds, slide shot, and quick draw for the first two, and then opening shot and vorpal for the last. And then obviously shot package, aggressive frame shotgun modified to have more uniform pellet spread. Now, it's really funny because this comes with full choke, so it's even tightening that pellet spread even more. I will say aiming down with this weapon does not feel clean at all, mostly because a full choke reduces projectile spread when aiming down sights at the cost of precision damage. Me personally, uh, hip firing this feels so much more comfortable. Like, I got more kills without aiming down than I did with, so... Me, personally, if you're going to ask me what I would roll with, because I rolled each combination on each uh, on each of the uh, maps that I was playing, and the most comfortable for me was Quick Draw with Opening Shot or Quick Draw with Vorpal Weapon. I love sli Slice Shot, don't get me wrong, but the amount of time you have, to, you have for the boost in range, it's just so minimal. I think it's like a second. So you could do slide shot and opening shot. You can do that. It's just that you have to be aware that you only have like a one second window for your slide shot. And then opening shot, you have to, what is it? Proof the accuracy and range on the opening shot of the attack. So it once you shoot once, stow it, use your primary for a little bit, and then just bring it back out and you'll have opening shot again. Like I said, uh, the slide shot and opening shot is... It's a little bit more methodical. You have to think about it a lot more. With quick draw and just anything, it's just more running gun. Like, quick, it's quick draw. Like, someone's coming up on you, get your gun out, shoot them, and then just walk. Like, it's so effortless. You don't have to think. It's aping at its finest. So, I ended up putting the Icarus grip on it, mostly because I am, uh, I love to jump. I'm a Titan and a Hunter. So, with those two, I'm just jumping all the time. Uh, but you could probably do uh, backup mag because it's only four shots. I found myself really, really hating the magazine. The magazine. It's so small. Four shots is nothing. But on the on the on the upside, it is only four shots. Or yeah, it's only four shots. So if you have shotgun scavenger, that means you only have to get two bricks. Which I mean, it's not that hard. It's just that four shots, just, I don't know, man. I don't like it. So, backup probably going to get you up to five shots, which, I mean, each shot counts in my opinion. But I think Icarus Grip is going to uh, do a lot for me in the long run. Maybe Freehand Grip, actually, now that I think about it, considering firing from the hip is a lot more smoother, in my opinion, than aiming down. So, I don't know. I'm definitely going to, like, fuck around and see which one I, will, I really want to do. But... Yeah, you, as you guys can see from the gameplay, I, I love this gun. This gun's fun. Like, I really wish that I wasn't rusty right now because if I wasn't, I'd be popping shots left and right. This is this is the most consistent shotgun I've ever used. It's fucking wild. Uh, so, before I start talking about anything else, let's talk about some of the builds you can do. So, I was running my Hunter, and obviously, the first things I tried was Stompies, obviously. And to my surprise, I actually did not like Stompies with this. Mostly because of another build that I usually do on in PvP that I like a lot more, which is the Bombardiers. So I was rocking the Bombardiers with Top Tree Void. That way when my when I dodge, I can invis. And let me tell you guys, there's nothing more satisfying than dodging, have going invisible, and then dropping a bomb just to shoot someone in the face. It's it's a lot of fun that's what i was doing for my hunter i was doing other things as well uh, i saw a few hunters going with the worm husk crown which i was using too it was pretty simple but i liked it uh yeah bombardiers for me for sure is the go-to i used it on my titan and as well and obviously you don't really need a build for this one but the Antaeus wards really just shit on everything right now you you're getting super from getting oncoming damage plus the invulnerability and you can kill something from like almost eight meters 
it's it's like effortless especially if you pair it with middle tree uh, arc once you slide into ammo you get a buff in damage so your range could probably be up to like 9 to 10 maybe it's a lot of fun me personally i was enjoying the dune marchers with it as well but i will say middle tree uh, arc with antaeus wards with the shotgun was nutty it was foul i felt bad it it's a little it, yeah it's just it's nutty it's really it's not fair at this point so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the weapon that's pretty much it i don't have much to say the gun's smooth the gun's consistent uh it's easy to get it's so easy to get if you don't get it if you are capable of getting it this season but you're too lazy next season i don't want to hear you bitch because this gun is super easy to get it's for such a god rolled weapon to be given away like this almost kind of makes me mad like <sighs> oh my god dude this is the world we live in just throwing fucking god rolled shotguns out the window so yeah let me know what you guys think about the shotgun itself is it great is it shit let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support but thank you specifically to the people that watch my other content as well that's not destiny 2 related i appreciate you a little bit more because destiny 2 is really easy to make uh destiny 2 you know i've been doing it for a while the, that destiny 2 is my bread and butter views so when i see other people viewing my other stuff it just hits a little different so i just want to thank you specifically but yeah uh be safe guys you guys know happening now in the world don't cough in people's faces don't be an asshole and other than that we'll see you guys later